What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and I'm here with some more updates on Samsung's One UI 4.0 beta. I did a full video yesterday kind of reviewing the One UI 4.0 beta. I talked about all the big features that I had noticed so far, stability, battery life, and all that stuff. So if you're interested in the beta and you wanna know whether or not you should install it on your Galaxy S21 device in the US, South Korea, all the different countries where it's available, go check out that video. I'll drop in the, the link in the description below. Today, I wanna to talk about good lock because someone actually was talking about good lock in the comments and i had forgotten all about good lock it turns out that good lock has a new feature that's specific to not only one ui 4.0 but also works on one ui 3.1 on the galaxy z fold 3 i'm going to show it to you on both devices and it's a feature that people have been waiting for for quite a while at least i have um, and that is now in good lock if you use the theme park app which Theme Park actually came out, I think like two years ago now, like in 2019. So it's been around for a little while. It's not like Theme Park is a brand new app or anything like that. Um, it is an app that's been there, but if you use Theme Park and you open it, uh, you can then change the icon pack to an icon pack from Google Play. Um, this was different. You could always change your icon pack here in Theme Park, you see down here at the bottom. Um, but now you can actually change it to an icon pack that you downloaded from the Google Play Store. So you can see, I went and grabbed, Let's see. There's a there's an interesting issue with this though, and I'll show you on the One UI beta. It doesn't work perfectly. Let me search for Supreme Icon Pack. So I downloaded this Icon Pack, which I like a lot from Drum Destroyer Supreme Icon Pack. And then if you go back here, you can see that I was able to install that uh, using the new version. Now, if you have a different Icon Pack, you go in here, you tap on Icon Pack, and down here you'll see the act the options for third party Icon Packs. Now, if you still type on download, it'll take you directly to the Play Store, which is definitely something that you couldn't do in previous versions uh, prior to at least the Galaxy Z Fold 3, because that's the first time that I actually noticed it. I didn't know they added this to One UI 4.0 as well, because I hadn't checked it. I probably should have checked this yesterday. Uh, now, the issue is, of course, like I said, because this is a beta, it's not, perfect, it's not perfectly stable. Um, I'm guessing this is not a problem with the icon pack, because... I've used this icon pack before, Supreme Icon Pack, uh, with other launchers like Action Launcher, Niagara Launcher, Nova Launcher. It works fine. Um, if you check this out, you go to the Google Apps, it doesn't recognize Google Chrome. It says it's ad blocker, you can see right there. Um, and the same thing, I tried installing Chrome Beta, and uh, Chrome Beta also shows up. The icon is ad blocker as the icon, um, which obviously isn't great. And the thing about it is, um, because there's really no way to change individual icons that I know of, if someone knows of a way using Theme Park to change the individual icons, uh, I really have to kind of live with that, or I just replaced Chrome with the internet, Samsung internet icon on my home screen, so it looks a little bit cleaner. Uh, I just think it looks a little bit better, like this right here, um, than having ad blocker down there. But if anyone knows of a way to edit individual icons, because you can do that, of course, with other launchers, all those other third-party launchers I just mentioned, uh, you can easily do that. Now it also works, I'll just show it to you guys while I'm here. It also works in the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So if you download the Good Lock app and go into Theme Park, so again, here's Good Lock on my Z Fold 3, and then go into Theme Park, you can also apply third-party icon packs in here. Of course, this isn't running One UI 4.0, so this was something that was available already um, on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. You can tap on the icon pack like I showed you before, Here's another icon pack that I like from the Play Store. It's called Dove. I just tap on that. Uh, it loads up the image, kind of shows it to you. Go ahead and give it a name. You know, I'll just call it Dove because I'm only playing with the icons right now, not really changing the rest of the theme. Uh, it'll wait for it to kind of prepare the data, install it, and then you can tap on it on your home screen and apply it and it'll apply the icon pack um, to your device. Now, of course, if you go back, oh, for some reason, I don't know why it reverted back to Niagara Launcher. I'd been using, that's kind of a weird and interesting bug because I did not change. That's a weird and interesting bug. I didn't even anticipate that. I figured I'd already done this on my Fold 3 many times and hadn't had an issue. It's weird that it changed it back to Niagara Launcher, which is not what I was using. Hmm. I was actually using One UI as my default launcher. So why did it change it back to Niagara Launcher? That's an interesting bug, but now you can see if I go back, there's the custom icon pack applied on One UI. So I don't know what's up with that bug. You can see that Chrome is 
correctly themed on the fold. So obviously uh, it works fine there. Uh, of course, on the fold, if you then go back to your home screen on the cover display, the icon pack uh, is still correctly applied. So it's a nice, you know, consistent theme. Anyway, that's something I wanted to pass along with good luck. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention that I didn't get to talk about last time, my full review and sort of overview of every feature in One UI is going live on XDA either today or tomorrow. I'll drop a link on my Twitter to share if anyone's interested. It'll be a very long article. It'll be a little more in depth than the video just because I can take a lot more time with writing it, being careful. Uh, another thing I didn't mention yesterday about One UI in the US is it actually enables eSIM support, which we haven't had in the US on Samsung phones in the past. So you can add an eSIM to add a separate number to your Galaxy S21 series phone. It's kind of a big deal, not a huge deal to international users because you've had it for a while, but, but we just got it with One UI. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. You can see actually there's some blank icons too here. You see how these are not themed at all. Uh, usually, right, if you have an icon that's not themed, it'll just show up in the default. But with uh, Good Lock and Theme Park, at least on One UI 4.0, that, that doesn't appear to happen. So I'm assuming that's some kind of bug that'll also get resolved. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe. Find me on Twitter. I'll drop the link below if you want to. I have more content coming up on One UI 4.0 other reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.